Experiment 13 is the last experiment after trimester 2, right? Uh, it's uh, very similar to investigation 1, where you had to uh, measure the absorbance for different concentration, concentrated solution, okay? Uh, you had different solutions, you measured the transmittance, this is, uh, it was a direct application to beer lamp block. Now, it's very similar for this experiment, except that we have an equilibrium, okay? And where we are going to determine the uh, value of the equilibrium constant K of this equilibrium, this reaction. Now, you are familiar with this reaction because you have done it in investigation uh, 13 the last week. That was J2 where you have mixed a uh, iron 3 yeah. plus uh, thiocyanate and you obtain the dark brown color which was the iron uh, iron 3 thiocyanate complex ion okay fe scn 2 plus now you have noticed that if the equilibrium shifts to the right that's going to give you the brown dark brown color shifts to the left, that's going to give you colorless. You remember when you added phosphate, yeah. it consumed the Fe3+, and the equilibrium shift to the, to the left, where the Fe3+, or the thiocyanate, SCN-, minus, they both are colorless. They don't absorb visible light. However, if you shift the equilibrium to the right, you will obtain this dark brown color, which absorbs light. Now, from this we understand that the species that absorbs light in this equilibrium is Fe SCN 2 plus. So when we measure the absorbance of the solution that we will prepare, basically we are measuring the absorbance of this species, and therefore we can determine the concentration of, of it in our mixture. Right? So we will know the initial concentrations of iron-3 and uh, thiocyanate that we will start with. We know the initial ones. We know that at the beginning there is no Fe SCN2+, so it's zero. Using ice table, right, we can determine the equilibrium concentration because when you put your equilibrium and you will say initial concentrations of Fe2+, SCN-, minus going to give you Fe SCN2 plus. So you will put the concentration of Fe3 plus, concentration of SCN minus, and then zero for the complex ion. Then for the change, since the equilibrium is shifting to the right, it's going to be minus x, minus x, and plus x. Now at equilibrium, the equilibrium concentration of Fe SCN2 plus is equal to x. Now, X, we can determine it using, using beer lambert law. By measuring the absorbance, I can determine the concentration. Now, the, in your lab manual, it's given the uh, absorption spectrum of uh, this iron thiocyanate complex ion. We know that the lambda max is around 446 nanometer, and we know that the Molar absorptivity, it's 4,860 liter per mole or per mole uh, centimeter. Okay, so these values are given. You know that Bill Lambert, it says, absorbance is equal to molar absorptivity times the L, which means the light, uh, the light path, or the length of the cell, times concentration. Then our length of the cell, we are using a one centimeter tube, so the L equal to one centimeter. Epsilon, you have it. When you measure the absorbance, you can calculate the concentration. You will do this for four different solutions. Now we will fix the, the concentration of Fe3+, and we will be changing the concentration of SCN minus.
So you can see that the constant, uh, every time I increase the concentration of the thiocyanate, the concentration of the tube, like or the color of the tube becomes darker. So I'll just shake them to homogenize my mixture and give the reaction some time to reach equilibrium. Okay? Now, to give it more time to react, during this time we will calibrate the spectrophotometer. So you have done this, of course you forgot by now, so I will refresh your memory, but you have a guideline on the screen. So just follow the steps. Set the filter position to 340, between 340 and 599 is the filter. Then set the wavelength to 446, which is the maximum wavelength of the iron thiocyanate complex ion. Then move the mode to transmittance and adjust the 0% T to zero. Okay, then you take one of the test tubes and you fill it with water until the white mark you see in here. Make sure you don't have fingerprints or water or any kind of dirtiness on the tube. You insert it in the spectrophotometer and you change the mode to absorbance. Then you use the 100% T, zero absorbance, dial to adjust it to, to zero. You might need to turn for, for a while until that you see that the number is changing and then you change it to you adjust it to zero okay. so I'll put it around zero it doesn't matter much okay. That's now so the investigation one guys you have measured the transmittance. Now we will measure the absorbance. So you leave the mode to absorbance. Then you just simply come and take your solution, the first one, you transfer it to the tube. Make sure your tube is clean again. And you measure the actual. You have these concentrations. They will allow you to calculate four different values of the uh, equilibrium constant, right? And for the overall, you can just take the average of four values, the sum divided by four, and you obtain the equilibrium constant value of this equilibrium. Now, there's a very important thing here that you should not miss, or should not miss, is that the temperature is constant. And I have four different mixtures, four different concentrations. The value of the equilibrium constant has to be always the same because the value of the equilibrium constant 
depends only on the temperature, not the volume, not the concentration, and not the uh, pressure, right? Since I'm, I'm working in the same room, my temperature is not changing, therefore my, the value of the equilibrium constant should not change. Okay? In conclusion, the reason we are doing this experiment is that this teaches you how you can determine the equilibrium constant of any system at equilibrium in the lab.